One Christmas Eve in Nauvoo, after being in jail for almost a year, Porter Rockwell walked into a party at the Prophet's home, at first unrecognized by many. His hair had grown long and black over his shoulders. Joseph recognized him, and after embracing his friend since youth, Joseph told Porter not to cut his hair, but to wear it long, and your enemies will have no power over you, and they will not be able to take your life. Porter's dedication as protector of the prophet became his calling. On a summer's night in 1844, Porter was heading to visit his friends Joseph and Hiram in Carthage jail. A Mormon named George D. Grant came riding swiftly from Carthage and told Porter the prophet had been killed by the mob. His soul devastated and his heart enraged. He turned his horse towards Nauvoo. Late that night, Porter rode through the city's dark streets in agony, yelling, Joseph is killed. Joseph is killed. They have killed him. They have killed him. 